The Beaches Podcast is going to give you everything you want to know about a beach before you go there. I hope you enjoy the show. Be sure to check out our website, www.sandee.com. Without further ado, let's get into the show. Ever get those travel posters? You know, the ones that just make you want to jump on a plane? Yeah, totally. We're talking about the Amalfi Coast today and how to actually get there. It's more than just a pretty picture, though. Right. It's like a whole experience. Exactly. Dramatic cliffs, that turquoise water. Don't forget those villages. Perched right on the hillsides. And that scent of lemon trees yeah. makes me want to book a flight right now. So for those of us who love a good hike with a view, you've been there. What's it like hiking the Path of the Gods? Oh, man, the Path of the Gods. It's like you're walking this ancient trail. You've got wildflowers, the sun, and then that view. Yeah. The Mediterranean just stretches out below you. It's incredible. Okay, that's going on the bucket list. Now, you know you can't really go wrong with those villages, but if you had to pick one... Positano, hands down. What is it about Positano? Picture this. Pastel-colored houses cascading down the hillside. They actually lead right to the beach. Sounds picturesque. And here's the thing. No cars. Wait, really? It's all staircases, little walkways. So peaceful. I can see why you love it. <laughs> okay, we have to talk about the limoncello. It's like the drink of the Amalfi Coast, right? It's not just a drink, it's part of the culture. Mm. They use those amazing local lemons. And the recipes. Passed down through families. Wow. If you want the real deal, mm -hmm. find the small, family-run places. That's where you'll find it. They usually do tastings, too, so you can really appreciate the different flavors. Yeah, let's talk logistics. Summer's probably packed, right? Okay, summer's peak season, gorgeous weather, but lots of people. Prices go, too. So when's a sweet spot? I'd say spring or early fall. Good to know. Okay, those winding coastal roads make for amazing photos, but I imagine getting around is an adventure in itself. It definitely adds to the charm. Buses are a good option, affordable and scenic. Upper. They can get crowded. Ferries are great for hopping between towns and seeing the coast from the water. Or if you want flexibility, rent a car. Just be ready for those roads. <sighs> exactly. Now, here's something that always blows my mind. Did you know that this stunning coastline was once the heart of a powerful maritime republic. Just seriously. Yeah. For centuries, the Amalfi Coast was a major player in Mediterranean trade. It's incredible how history shapes a place. And that's what I love about travel. It reminds you that there's this whole world out there just waiting to be explored. Totally. It's like an invitation to slow down, enjoy the moment, experience something new. Couldn't have said it better myself. So picture this. You're on the Amalfi Coast. You've got that limoncello in hand. You're on a terrace. The Mediterranean's right there. What's your journey going to be like? Thanks for listening to the show and be sure to tune in next week for your favorite episode about some of the best beaches and beach information in the world.